Hey guys, this is Miles Fisher from HiView, a Google Cloud partner, here with some information about Google G Suite Enterprise. So I encourage you to check out the link below here for a general overview of what's included in Google G Suite. This video in particular is going to dive into the tools available specific in the G Suite Enterprise SKU, such as data loss prevention. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. This video here really drills into features that are specific to G Suite Enterprise. And here's a first look. Specifically, we'll talk about third-party email archiving, encryption using your own SMIME certificates, controlling third-party access to data with app whitelisting, pre-delivery deep scanning of email attachments, Gmail log analysis, and BigQuery. And then last but most important within G Suite Enterprise, and this is primarily why customers choose enterprise over business, is the DLP, the Advanced Data Loss Prevention features available to you within Gmail and Drive. So just to go through each feature in a bit more detail, you do have the option if you're an a enterprise that has an existing email archiving solution that you do not want to move away from, G Suite Enterprise is likely the, 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 the SKU that you'd like to move forward with, prim primarily because you continue using your preferred third-party email um, archiving solution. Alternative would be to move to Google Vault, um, if uh, that might work for your organization's um, data retention and, and, and policy needs. On the encryption side, so Google G Suite Enterprise does allow you to use your own uh, SMIME certificates uh, for encrypting messages. Um, however, SMIME encryption does become cumbersome uh, for employees to utilize. So there are other solutions out there such as Virtru, which is one of the uh, recommended partners and add-on solutions for companies that need encrypted email um, for sending externally. Uh, might be a better path, but do know that you can do SMIME certificates with G Suite Enterprise. So whitelisting and managing OAuth-based access to third-party apps. So one, you get fine-grained visibility into which third-party apps are accessing your organization's G Suite data. And then you can create a list of um, only allowing trusted, embedded third-party um, OAuth applications. And this really allows you to guard against services that might be trying to connect and unauthenticate into your um, G Suite environment and um, uh, can thus uh, prevent a lot of uh, data information uh, leakage. Um, support article at the bottom, which we will post in the comments as well. Pre-delivery deep scamming of email attachments. So this is something that once again is specific to G Suite Enterprise. It opens those attachments in a private secure sandbox and helps you identify if there's malicious files um, that contain um, viruses or executable files that should be automatically quarantined. And for very large organizations that want to pull their uh, Gmail data into BigQuery, uh, you could run um, and process large, large amounts of data and use um, custom visual visualization tools such as Tableau or Google's Data Studio to help visualize some of those reports. Some examples would be how products are being used across a large organization, taking a collaboration report such as a, an, a, an audit report for Drive, um, so on and so forth. Great, so with that, I'm going to segue into our demo environment here and pull up the admin console at admin.google.com, logging in here. And I want to show you two things for data loss prevention. One, data loss prevention within Google Drive, and then we'll talk about data loss prevention within Gmail. So, data loss prevention in Drive is based around this tile here through the admin console called rules. And you'll see here as I pull up this rules tab, you'll see three tabs, manage, audit, and templates. I'm going to start with, over with templates. Google's created these predefined content detectors um, that help you identify and implement a DLP policy for commonly shared um, data that, that should not be. So an example would be prevent sharing of PII data uh, US, for instance. Uh, it will detect social security numbers, driver licenses, or DEA registration numbers. So if we click into here, um, you could go ahead and, and rename this rule. You can set for 
what you want this trigger to apply on, what conditions are met, for instance. And then you could perform what action you want to be taken. So send an email to super administrators, um, block access, for instance, uh, warn on external sharing, and then go ahead and, and create and activate. Um, so again, this is not meant to be a full demonstration of how DLP can be used, just a first look on the DLP feature for Drive and the templates available um, to you as well. Great. Okay, and here's an audit log which will actually show um, past um, queries that I've identified, in this case a driver's license number that was found within a, a Google Sheet that was uploaded as a test. Great. So, specific to Gmail, under Apps, clicking into the Gmail service to access Settings. And from the Settings panel here, I can expand certain sections. I'm actually going to scroll all the way down to Quarantines and then Advanced. And as I scroll down, we'll give a sec for this to load. As I scroll down here, you'll see some basic information. Um, by the way, this is the email logs and BigQuery option. Um, scrolling further down past spam, and you can see this option for enhanced pre delivery message screening, which we talked about as a feature of Enterprise. And then under the compliance section, um, you have your content compliance rules. So you can configure those, um, such as uh, SSN quarantine compliance or credit card quarantine compliance, uh, which we have set up here, for instance. You can go ahead and easily edit these, um, see how they will operate, so on and so forth. Great. Excellent. Uh, so that's a quick overview of content compliance, uh, both within uh, Google Drive as well as uh, using content compliance DLP within Gmail. Thank you.